OK, quite a treat this week. We've got races 37 and 38 on the National Hunt, which is quite rare. It's a three-mile, two, hunter chase, not to hundred handicaps. The number one is The Put, two, Big Future, three, Half Supreme, four, War Pointer, five, Eyes to the Right, six, K to the Glen, seven, Top Spec, eight, Medellin, nine, Stoke Hill, ten is Eyecatcher, eleven is Velothe, twelve is Prince Achiever, and thirteen is Heather Oscar. Now, so you can have a couple of uh, entries here. As we see, Doug Warren has. Good luck, Doug and Alex Cherry. Obviously, you've got too many horses uh, below 100. So, we're going to travel over this uh, extended three miles and a furlong. A nice old hunter chase. We like these. Well, it's actually three miles and two furlongs. My apologies. So, up front at the moment, the first to rise is Velos with the put and top spec. These three are leading by uh, probably three to four to the rest of the pack which are all just jostling for position. Where well, we've got Prince Achiever, Half Supreme in the pink. Heather Roscoe in the, in the same silks as uh, Prince Achiever from the same trainer. And we've got Eyes to the right against the fence. And Big Future and Medellin. And we've got Stoke Hill wider. And wider of that is War Pointer. And just the two at the rear, Eyecatcher and Kate of the Glen. Eyecatcher is the grey. There's the Darren House horse. Good luck. As I approach this ditch, the second. And everybody's over that. Although it looked like a few went through the top of it. And the one that particularly went through the top was Warpointer and got away with it. So they're into the third. And we're going to be, oh, a poor jump there by Kate of the Glen at the rear. That's uh, from last year. I'm not sure if he was a flat horse last year. For Martin Leadham. But happily just stalking them at the back as a back marker. So it's Velocity that leads us for OB1. And then we've got Top Spec and The Put on two and three. We take the fourth, who just uh, kind of steps over that one, not really jumping hard. So it's Velothe and Top Spec, and then they take us into the next together. And there are two lengths ahead of the put, and they're followed through by eyes to the right and Prince Achiever. And the outside of that is Heather Oscar and Half Supreme in the middle. And the light blue silks are blue, big future. Stoke Medlin and the darker blue silks on the outside. Medlin against the fence in the green. And then Kate of the Glen trying to get better ground. I catch her the grey and more pointed just at the rear. So they take the fifth. There's 18 to negotiate here. We've still got a few to go. It's top spec and Velothe in the put. These three have pretty much been on their own. Only by a length or so now from the chasing pack. Bad jump there by top spec. Jocelyn back into the main pack. And Velothe for Obi one still leads and takes them into the seventh. Nice big fast jump there. Keeps his position. And the put and top spec in second and third. We've got Prince Achiever. The one against the fence is eyes to the right. The pink silks of Half Supreme and Dale Hilton on the outside. Between there is Big Future in the light blue silks. Medellin in the green silks still running well. The outside of that is Kate of the Glen. And we've got Stoke Hill. Further wide is Heather Oscar. And wider still is the grey eye catcher. And then there's Alex Cherry's war pointer just four lengths off, off the back of the pack. They're all over that. So Alex has got one at the front, which is top spec, and one at the rear, which is war pointer. So cover all bases there, Alex. So it's top spec and Velothe. These two still lead by length to the put. A length further back to half supreme. Go around here at Black Forest. Let's do it at the rear is War Pointer. That's sort all of middle in pack is Half Supreme, Prince Achieve Eyes to the right, and Kate of the Glen. And a length ahead of Heather Oscar. And Stoke Hill. Netherlin. Big Future and Eye Catcher. And War Pointer still the back marker. And we've lost one there. Kate of the Glen's gone. Bad luck, Martin. Just getting yourself back into a good position there. And he's a gone up. We take the tenth. Velothe and Top Spec together. Both rise and fall at the same time. Or rise and land at the same time, should I say. And then length back to top spec. The put, I'm sorry. Uh, tongue tied here. It's been a long day. And then they're followed through by Prince Achiever, Half Supreme, and Heather Oscar. They go over the 11th. Everybody gets over that. There's a length further back to Heather Oscar, Eye Catcher, Big Future. Medellin. Further back, Stoke Hill, Moor Pointer. As they go past the grandstand for the last time with a circuit to go. It's Top Spec and Velocity that lead by a length and a half to the put. And we've got Prince Achiever in four. Five is half supreme and eyes right. Five and six. And then we've got Heather Oscar and I catch up. They take the twelfth. Everybody's over there. Medlin didn't take it particularly well. Kevin Minahan, horse with the yellow cap. 
towards the rear of the green sleeves. But it's Velothi. And top spec both get up together. Velothi was a little bit slow. Top spec's jockeys decided to just jostle him along a bit. Prince Achiever looks ominous on the outside over the 14th. A better jump by all by Prince Achiever. And it's drawn him alongside the front now with top spec. The Put and Velothi are next. Then we've got eyes to the right. Heather Oscar, half supreme, eye catcher. And all still in this. The big grey on the outside is making up some ground. The pink silks of half supreme hasn't really got anywhere to go. But we're being led now by Prince Achiever. Just under six furlongs left to go. And then it's Prince Achiever, top spec, the Put. Velothi's under a little bit of pressure in the middle of the pack. On the inside of that is eyes to the right. They take the 15th. Oh, we've lost one there. Long time leader. Top spec's gone. Unlucky Alex. Prince Achiever still leads us. One on the outside is eye catcher and certainly is eye catching at the moment. So Prince Achiever as they head downhill. Four and a half furlongs left to run. Prince Achiever leads by a couple of lengths to the grey eye catcher. Eyes to the right still cruising along nicely. On the outside of that is Veloz. Got a lot to do now to get back into this. Heather Oscar wider still in the red silks. Further wider is the blue silks of James Foley and Stoke Hill, but up front it's Prince Achiever for Doug Warren, leads by three lengths now, inside the final three furlongs, he's starting to push away, gets over that ditch well, the rest of them are chasing hard, eyes to the right, looks like he's going to be the one to challenge, but it's Prince Achiever lead, leading comfortably, jockey looks round just before the plain fence gets over it, there's only a fence left to go, but there's still just under two furlongs left to run, it's Prince Achiever, leads by four to five to eyes to the right, meddling plugging on at the back as this is a long time leader the put, but Prince Achiever takes him round the sharp right turn into the last less than a furlong but eyes to the right oh he took it a little bit early but I think he's still going to hang on there but no here comes eyes to the right half a furlong left to run Prince Achiever jockey looks round he thinks he's got it but here comes eyes to the right Prince Achiever eyes to the right Prince Achiever eyes to the right I'm not sure if eyes to the right got up there I'm not sure if the jockey on Prince Achiever should be uh, put against the wall and shot there he certainly didn't uh, put a ride in at the end let's wait for the replay Oh, it's been given to eye to the right from Prince Achiever and the put. Bad luck for Doug Warren if your jockey let you down there, mate. Let's wait and see. Might be a dead heat if you're lucky. Eye to the right, Graham Clutterbuck. No, it's a short head. It's been given to eyes to the right for Graham Clutterbuck off 11 stone 10, one of the top weights there. Prince Achiever for Doug Warren, really unlucky in second. Your jockey to fault. The put for Carl Aganti third. Big future for D. French is fourth. And Heather Oscar for Doug Warren was fifth.